How's it going shoppers? Today we're doing the 7 a.m. Instacart shift. I tried the 6 a.m. a while back and I had a lot of success, at least on the video. Today we were actually trying to do Walmart Spark. I didn't see anything worth taking and I did see an Instacart order, so Instacart it is. $36, like 51 items, two customers. Shouldn't be too bad. I know it's a lot of items, but the store is gonna be really quiet. So I'll see you guys there. Today should be pretty good because the weather just dropped. It is 40 degrees out here, which is crazy. It was literally like 90 a couple days ago. So exciting stuff. I'll see you guys whenever we're closer to the store though. Alrighty guys, so we made it, it is 7.36. All right, so this is the smaller order and here's the bigger order, it has a lot of stuff. So hopefully one cart should be enough. We'll see what happens. Raised by the rain, saved by the pain, ain't but a thing. Alright, as you guys could probably see, it's a pretty big order. My trunk is absolutely maxed out right now. Probably would have been better off putting the trunk order back here and flip-flopping where I put them, but uh, this is a nice little drive. Two minutes for almost all the items, and then I'm probably gonna be driving another like 15 minutes to go drop off 11 items. Honestly, may have been worth trying to drop customer B, but at this point, it's so early. I'm just looking to make the 36 and move on to some Walmart Spark most likely. It's still sort of dark too. I think it's just kind of stormy overcast day. Sounds good to me. What's up? I woke up like do some. Look some like on shit for two some. For her, I ran some like so young and she loved me for L like two one. My only life mission, stay player. Make some moves, bring yes to they say us. I rock the south crest till they make craters and everything no heart like I take bays. And me on me, I shoot straight and they straight chasing. Never see me making a move that don't make paper. And if you cut me off, don't sway later. When it all start to piece together, if it's my team, we forever keep it like that. The motivation is simply up in the price tag. And then only a quick pause in today's video, we're going to be talking about some solo updates. I know you guys have heard me talk about them before, but we do have some really cool updates coming out that will really make this app more helpful for gig workers, starting off with our new benefits. So if you guys are on solo, you guys could just go to members perks and you guys could see new earning opportunities up there in the top, what they suggest, even something new down here called navigate which basically allows you to accrue rewards for sharing information on like your trip. And if you're driving a lot doing gig work, I could see how Navigate could actually be beneficial. So I will be checking that one out. We have health and wellness, insurance, tool equipment, and vehicle apps. And I think you guys know uh, Upside already. That's a nice one and they've partnered with them. So those are actually some really nice benefits. Let's go ahead and check out the other part of the update and it has something to do with the pay guarantee. So this is a subscription based service and if you guys get a subscription, you guys get access to pay guarantee. And it basically does exactly what I just said. They guarantee your pay, you lock in an hourly rate and if you make less than that, they will pay you the rest. So before pay guarantee review was on Tuesday and then they would send you the extra money via Venmo or PayPal, but they recently changed it. So I'm gonna quickly read this little blurb just so I don't mess it up. But daily review for all guaranteed hours worked two days prior and any owed payouts will be added to the solo wallet for the worker to control when they transfer. So now they're using the Solo Wallet versus just sending it straight to PayPal and Venmo. And whenever I do these updates for Solo, I like to show what cities they've expanded to. So here's a quick list. So anyways, check out Solo in the link down below. If you guys choose to try Solo for a little, you guys could actually earn $10 for signing up which will knock the price down for the subscription. But I do really think that this is worth it, especially with pay guarantee on those slow days. I feel like it's honestly a great earning opportunity for those slow days. So anyways, let's get back into this video. So we just got our next order. It is a $23 Spark order. I just saw a 58 Instacart order flash, so I'm not very happy. That 58 would have hit so hard, but we'll take this 23 it's only 15 items i think uh like five miles or something like that so not too bad this will get me really close to 60 bucks probably by uh 11 a.m so just a few more hours of work and then we'll be out of here and back in the warm house so the order is back there 
just trying to uh, record a little easier, so that's why I didn't put it in the trunk there. Oh, I should have gone. What was I thinking? Should have gone again. Ugh. The order was pretty easy to shop. It was very small. A few videos ago, I did talk about the cheaters that were caught using a bunch of phones, and they are still apparently investigating like what's going on there. Anyways, we have a nine minute drive not too bad we're gonna be at 60 a little bit before 11 so that's even better than i thought it is super windy though unfortunately this morning when i woke up my halloween setup was completely destroyed by the 40 mile per hour wind gusts i'll show you guys what it looked like before it got destroyed the sad part is it's been fine until literally last night and tomorrow's halloween so after this i'm gonna try and fix it to get all ready for halloween meanwhile i'm seeing a bunch of these crazy high mileage orders not doing that So as I parked, I got another Instacart order. It's $35 and it is a different HEB. It's the one I'm right next to. So this will get me basically right at my goal. I'll be at $95. I may or may not do another order after that, but it's two customers, 29 items and 13 miles. So still uh, $2 per mile. Realistically, it's closer to $1 per mile when you factor in like the round trip, but it's definitely not a bad order and it's keeping the ball rolling. So. I'm already almost to the store, then hopefully the store is not busy yet because it's only 1020. So we'll see how the shop goes. No way. No one's even coming. It is getting brutally cold. There's probably like a 20 mile per hour like wind gust right now. They're saying that it feels like 20 degrees. For a Texan, that's pretty cold. I feel like I've just forgotten what it feels like to actually feel cold. So the first drop off is gonna be pretty close by. The second one is a little farther away, but it's still not too bad. Looks like my GPS is saying it's gonna be about an eight minute drive. Alrighty guys, weird camera angle because someone's staring at me right now, but I was basically on my way home and I got a $36 spark order going into my neighborhood. So I'm taking that. It's a decent amount of items, 35 in total, but it's perfect because they're miles I'm driving anyway. So that'll put me at 130, basically around like 1215. So that's super sweet. I'll see you guys with the cart, full stuff. Another easy order. We have a 12 minute drive and we're gonna be done for the day right around 12.30. Now just keep in mind, we only made $130, but we did start at like 7.30. So we've only been working for basically five hours, made 130. I think that sounds pretty good to me. I would definitely call today a success. We made a good amount of extra side money while not sitting in our car mindlessly waiting for orders so we kept the ball rolling and i'm pretty happy with that i will make a video probably pretty soon about what's going on with instacart because they seem to be copywriting people like myself that show the actual app interface so something to kind of be looking out for on my channel but thank you guys for stopping by i'll see you guys on the next video